How to Play Havana by Camilla Cabello on your cello. I divide it into two parts, first part, second part, so there's a lot to talk about. I'm just going to get right into the technique. First part, listen up. You know thumb position, so I'm not going to have to explain to you what tenor clef is. I'm not going to explain to you how to do a lot of the things. If you do want to get your hands dirty with this and you never have tried tenor clef, I suggest that you study tenor clef in my scale book here. There is a bit of a exercise on how to learn tenor clef. And treble clef is something that you learn after tenor clef. So there's most of it in the first page is in tenor clef. And so you do these chords and he's sliding back these one four chords. Pizzicato. All the fingers are there for you. So when you see the two numbers above each other, that's what it is right there. And then what you really want to think about when you're playing this is you want to play like she sings. And so she has this here, here, you know. So it sounds like, uh, I think right here. So you want to do that. And there are these four, four slides. Look at measure six. You want to do that actually as a little glissando, adding a little bit of character and flavor to the performance. And then when you get to A, shifting up here, going up to the harmonic D, I find that pushing down the harmonic D is just so much easier. Cello one, pay attention. We're going to talk from A to C, the most difficult part for you. We're going to shift up to the harmonic D, the note right before A. So starting on the B flat here in fourth position. That two with a little circle below it means to go for the harmonic D. I suggest you push down. You're in position, expand your hand out, triple it. Shift back. Triplets again. I actually use a harmonic in that second time through in measure 15. Stay there for measure 16. So measure 17 stays in position, the one, one, two, three, two, one, two. And then shifting back. There's your harmonic again. And measure 20 is like this. Two, one, two, harmonic two on the G. And then we have measure B, the fun part. Right here, you're in fourth position, actually a little bit above the fourth position, one on the F natural. And the reason why we choose that, because you want to slide up your third finger to the D right there. So practice that slide. Now find that going from the D to the C natural, sliding to the B flat, and doing that seems to be the most smooth. Of course, you certainly can find your own fingering since you're aware of that. Here, very tenuto. Do that glissando back. Shift up. It's important because the next section, you want to stay right there. And then do these. Double up and then a double up and slide back. Moving on to D. Well, it's quite self-explanatory. After D, it's all in the first position. Let's go to the second page for you. Again, nothing to worry about. Put all the fingers in there. Be aware of that. Da -da -dun, da -da -dun. 
Don't play it too fast. I'm going to start in measure 49. One. <laughs> Here we are in measure 52, ship 2 or 3. So you want to do that, the 3 on the G. And then the last little tricky section for you would be the double stops at G. Right before G, excuse me. Follow that bowing because you're on the down bow, ready to your up bow. F natural. Here, I variate, and so for those of you who like to do that, this little slide up. I like to do the harmonic. I just do because it's the same sort of sensation that you did here. Uh, with the slide on the first page. This, you're doing the slide on the D string on the second page. Do a long up bow. You can certainly play that in first position. So starting in 66, for those of you who want to play this in first position, it's a 4-2-4. Four, four. That's the same as the beginning, but then instead of a 3, you're going to do shift over 4, 2, low 1, 2, 0. So those are those places that you do. I'm not going to notate it. You can notate it for yourself when you view the music on my website. There's nothing else to explain with this. Let's jump on to the second part.